So someone in the group today asked if I knew uh, someone who could design a file for this. So I decided to make a video real quick here showing how you can trace something like this in Carbide Create. It is super easy. So we start off with our setup. I don't have any idea how big that thing is. So I just designed this 12 by 16, three quarter inch material. I'm not actually gonna cut it, so none of this really matters. So we're gonna start off by importing the image. And you see it comes in pretty big. Um, I like to change my opacity to one just so I can see it a little bit better. And I'm gonna scale it down by half just to get it on my work area. So now we have it on our work area. Next thing we're gonna do is just start drawing it. And I'm just gonna use straight lines because I have an easier time using those than I do the curved lines. So we're gonna start and just kind of very loosely outline this. At this point, I'm gonna turn on my snap to grid because I want the sides and the bottom to be straight. And find about the middle. Doesn't have to be exact because we're not tracing an exact copy of this. Oops. And I'm going to turn that snap to grid back off to do this last bit. Okay, from here, we're going to go over here to node edit. And I'm just going to grab these three nodes right here, right click on one of them, and say toggle smooth. And that gives us a little bit of curve. And then I'm going to start editing these nodes so it looks like my picture. You can grab these and do all kinds of things with them. It looks like we need a node right here, so right click, insert node. Put one down here, right click, insert node. Maybe one more here. One here. So we've got that. I'm going to hide the picture so I can see what it looks like. That actually looks pretty good. Now I'm going to select it. Copy and paste. Control C, Control V. Mirror it. And then line them up. And we're going to do a, a Boolean union on these so they need to overlap. So what I do is I just select one, hold shift and right arrow. Select the other one, shift and left arrow. That just keeps the center to it as the center. And then select both of them and do our Boolean union. And that looks right. And then you can scale it if you want. Maybe you want it wider, taller. Anyway, you get the idea. 